So, so you, you can't answer this question in this private community right here. So participate in the comments. As you can see this uh, question, name one place or country you would never, definitely never visit again and why. Okay, this one went viral and has over 182 um, comments. I'm going to give my reasons for Mexico. And as you can see, I have the mountains as my backyard and the beach as my front yard with the ocean right there. So I'm gonna give my reasons for leaving Mexico in the video. Um, and I'm gonna give my reasons for staying in Panama. So let's see what everybody else thinks and you tell us yours in the comments. So Alexandre, I think that's how you pronounce his name. He has the Dominican Republic. I can give you guys a couple reasons why. Um, especially if you look like me, you probably shouldn't you know, nest in the Dominican Republic. It's a decent place to visit, but you probably shouldn't nest there but, but that's not, not the question, question. alright so, so somebody asked him why he never came back <laughs> okay so this person says I'm from Turkey and have no intentions to visit again unless a family member dies that's exactly how I feel about the United States and I probably still won't visit if a family member dies what's the point they're, they're going now so should have saw them while they were here right but you know <laughs> I, I understand, but I heard they do good, like, you know, surgery in Turkey, so that could be another reason. He said something else, I don't know what that means. Okay, so Marie Bello says Russia, and it's not because of the war, hold on. I just thought it was horrible. Nobody could change my mind that it's a nice country. <laughs> so if you're a dude and you like that, what's that good girl name to play uh, Meg on Family Guy, Mila Kunis? With the big old eyes, if you like women that look like that, you know, you will find them attractive. There's some women there, but they're very strong and stuff like that. But maybe that's not a strong enough reason for you to visit there. She said the country, uh, you can't convince them it's a nice country with nice people. I absolutely hated it there. <laughs> okay, so somebody probably had the backlash on that. Okay, that's where she lives now. Stephen James said England because it's a third world crap hole, um, but I have to return for now, right? Hey, as far as England goes, I really don't want to be in any European, you know, like super Americanized type country. Just because they got an accent don't mean it's not Americanized. I really don't want no country like that. Panama alone already has a lot of U.S. expats and it's starting to rub me the wrong way. Okay, so I get it. Stephen James says, obviously not the right class, LOL. In the country, they are, they are still sipping champagne. champagne. Oh, oh, what's, what's that? that? What's that? Is that, that shot strong? Okay, okay, then we got Australia. <laughs> we got England poor boogers. Okay, okay don't, don't get the laces on here, guys. So I say, oh well, yeah. Uh, uh, go without, without saying, saying any city anyway. anyway. I don't know what they're talking. Slovakia. Slovakia. Okay, okay, we got Slovakia, Slovakia just leaving as we speak. Check this out. It says cold and wet in early September. That's, That's bad. bad. In, in September, most of the places uh, around the world is not cold and wet. Unless you're trying to be in Antarctica, Antarctica or Alaska or somewhere, somewhere, I don't know. know. But uh, that's, that's crazy for September. September. Um, Maria says, it's says practically, practically cold, cold and wet right now, now mainly, mainly everywhere, everywhere in Europe, I'm afraid. See, this is where I don't understand why everybody wants to move to Europe. You know what I'm saying? That, that, it's because they don't like the United States, but they want a place like the United, United States. States. Get it? I'm going to sense, sense that, make, okay? okay? So, so they, they say, say apparently it even snowed in Austria, so there must be some some situation going on with the weather that we can't control. Um, yeah, yeah, we ain't gonna sit and talk about the weather on here. Okay, it okay, says, it says Turkey, Turkey is still warm. warm. And, and Mike said, I spent a few days in Slovakia, Slovakia, Slovakia 25, 25 years, years ago. That's, That's how we can't go all that. <laughs> and somebody, and somebody else, else Chris, 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 Chris Talk, says, says Germany. Says Germany. And, and finally, someone finally is saying it. Damn, what's wrong with Germany, Germany y'all? I had a cousin, cousin that grew up there and didn't say too much bad about it. So y'all let me know in the comments what's wrong with it. Okay, somebody say Phuket. Okay, Phuket. I don't know how you guys pronounce that. They said, uh, they said uh, maybe, uh, Bali, maybe too. Bali too. Probably because it's hella expensive. That's what I'm saying. Like some of you guys leave the United, United States. States. Not, Not so that you can get a foreign experience. You leave the United States so that you can be the king somewhere else, but you still wanted to be like the United States, dog. Just, well, just become a bigger fish in your pond if you want to enjoy the United States then. But, but don't go somewhere else trying to make it like the United States. States. Hey, that, don't that don't make no sense. sense. They try to do that over here. If you want the United States, States go live there. Don't get mad because you can't compete there. there. Figure it out, man. But, but don't, don't come and ruin, ruin the experience of the exotic lands and all, all that, that, that haven't been tainted, tainted yet by that culture, Western culture and crap, and try to make it the U.S. there. Stop, okay? So somebody said they weren't even interested in Bali. What was it about Bali that made you say it? I'm curious because I just went there for a week to dive mainly. Um, 
to die mainly. Honestly, I wasn't impressed by anything else. Then I thought maybe I'd miss out on something, okay? Well, I mean, <laughs> they say it's overrated in Bali, okay? Dangerous roads, which I heard this a lot. Poor infrastructure, pollution, and attracts uh, young people who think they know everything. <laughs> <laughs> they going hard, okay? It says when it's the first time they even left their home country, hey, they going hard. I thought the local culture was really interesting, so I visit Indonesia, but I doubt going back to Bali. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is my mindset. I don't want to. Go. I want it to be developed. I want the country to be developed, but I don't want to go there where there's a lot of us just leaving our country for the first time. Don't know how to act and. And, you know, trying to act all boastful, yeah, you know, I got the U.S. dollar and here, give me your wife and do all this extra book that they be doing. Messing it up for everybody else. Breathing in white man's air, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so check this out. Rory said, Rory said, interesting, I found myself not interacting too much with people over there. Only when I had to. Locals are tourists. Uh, my board about taxi drivers. Oh, you gonna get that everywhere, man. Every airport we drive, we stop at Mexico, Panama. It don't matter, man. The taxi driver be up there. That's that bread and butter. They killing it. Okay, so I said I went to punch a taxi driver before in my life until I went to Bali. Wow. All right. So KRS, not the rapper, by the way, said uh, the world. <laughs> they ready to leave this one. You hear me? They, if they can get out of this world, they would come back. Hey, you gotta wait. For the second coming. When Christ returns, he's gonna crack the sky and he's gonna destroy the place. And then maybe you won't have to come, to come back to it looking like this anyway. Alright, all right, Escondido, I don't know where that's at, it, but USA, I agree. Australia, I don't wanna go there either. Okay? Now, on the safety fronts, we have Miguel de Fonseca. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He said, Keto in Ecuador is among the worst I've seen. So, it has been a few people talking about, um, you know, danger there. As far as violence, which is weird, I didn't know that at first, but this is keto, not the entire Ecuador, but keto. Uh, then, as we already know about the, like, the natural disasters, earthquakes and mudslides that seem to be happening lately in keto. So, at first I was looking at that as a place to get to, but I'm like, yo, no, no. All right, so then we got Morocco from the decline, I don't know who that is. They keep forgetting to put, put the reason, right? They keep you uh, being put that. Somebody says it's a crack hole. It stinks. <laughs> Just like the south side of St. Louis. It was funky as love, man. It said people aren't that friendly. Swerve it next time. Okay, I heard that. When I say it's a crack hole, I mean most street corners are a toilet for number two. Dang. So they really doing that in Morocco? Wow. That's bad business. I was crabbing in the middle of the street, but they, they want to do the commercials about how nasty Africa is and the people living in the streets and stuff. So they doing that in a, in a country like that? That's crazy. Okay, so Ecuador says too much gang activity. Yeah, I ain't playing with all that. If I want to deal with gangs, I could just stay in St. Louis, you know? Uh, Nigeria, enough said. What's up with that? What you mean enough said? Like, ain't give no reason. He just said Nigeria, enough said. Wow. All right, some mur says Paris, Tim Ferris. This ain't no Tim Ferriss. This ain't Tim Ferriss. Nah, that ain't. This is, I guess, there's a lot of people with that name. All right, so I was born in Canada and lived there for 52 years. Unlikely I would ever go back. I heard that from a lady that, a uh, Hispanic lady that moved here in Panama. She's from Canada and she, she only goes back to see her children. But other than that, she's like, yo, they need to come here. I'm with you. Like, what's the point of leaving? If you just gonna keep going back, you know, I don't, I don't want the chance to get stuck in that dang old country if I escape it. In the first, first place. place. Okay, okay, so, so we, we got, got Italy. Italy. Not all of it, but some, some cities are too focused on tourism. That's what I'm talking about. See, there's there's uh, different types of expats. Some expats that want to go somewhere but still have the U.S. experience. Other expats that want to go there and experience the place that they're going to. That's like going to a theme park, but instead of it being... Roller coasters and the water park there is just still got your couch and your TV there. Hey, well, you got out of the house, but it's nothing to experience. Dog, quit trying to make every country in the United States. They're just trying to keep up with y'all. Everybody wants the American dream. Stop. Stop. Americans are running from the country and then going there to other places trying to make it America. Don't make no sense. Okay, somebody say, hey, I would never go there again. Uh, Thessalonica, Greece. I'm not, I'm not one, one for pulling the race card, but the racism was hard and heavy there. 
I heard that, man. <laughs> I heard that. Like, hey, hey, you know, you ain't got to pull it. It ain't pulling the rank card if you just tell the truth. People will try to guilt you on that. They will try to, like, you know, try to guilt you because they want their country to look progressive as if stuff still don't exist, like oppression and stuff. No, that stuff is everywhere. Some people just not, some countries just not hide it uh, better than others. I know it's here. I haven't experienced nobody trying that with me, but it's definitely, it's, it's mainly for, from, um, I just be real with you, <laughs> the, the ones that don't look like us. The good thing about Panama is that it's so diverse. It's, it's, and the diversity is in the government. Like, you have dark-skinned, brown-skinned people in the government, right? You have dark-skinned, brown-skinned people in the lower class, right? So it's not like here, it's not like Europe where you go there and it's very clear, or Argentina where you go there and it's very clear that only the lighter people will be in a higher class. Here in Panama, you can go there at any race and feel comfortable. So I'm not trying to pressure you, but I'm just saying. <laughs> this is a place where I'm at, and I haven't felt anything from, from a, a higher, higher up people, uh, authority figure, figure like, like police, or um, just, just a regular, regular person. person. Feel at home. All right, so, so check this out. Um, oh, oh my gosh, gosh I feel it too. So somebody named Sushi Smito Mahato. Sorry about mispronouncing <laughs> that name. I think, I think that's how he said. She said, Tobias, oh my God, I felt it too. See, so he's not hallucinating, man. He's not just making it up, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you just feel it that way because people didn't want to talk to you. That's your individual experience. That's what people are trying to say because they, because feel, they feel guilty, guilty about, about how they people act. Just, I mean, it's, it's just, just a part of the world, man. That's just how it is, right? Okay, so check this out. It's just, and I thought it might be just the people I met because Greek people are known to be friendly. Yeah, see, you got to remember, guys, when you watch these YouTube videos, you're watching the experience through the lens of that particular per person that went there. Okay, so those those people might have something different or unique about them that you don't have. What do I mean by that? Okay, even if the person uh, that did the YouTube video, they went to Greece or whatever, was black. Let's say that that person was black. What if they were a celebrity? You're watching their experience from a celebrity point of view. They're going to get treated nice most of the time anywhere if they can be recognized. Look at high show speed, right? right? Or what if you're watching uh, through the lens of a YouTuber that's Caucasian? Of course, like, all these people were nice. They were kind. They were this, this, this. You, as a, um, uh, a person with a darker complexion, it doesn't matter your race, but a, a person with a darker complexion, you can't expect to have the same experience as that person if you're not a celebrity or if you're not of a lighter skin tone. I mean, people, people discriminate against anything. Like, even if you got a lighter skin tone, they might hate you because you don't take the efforts to speak their language. Maybe you get in there and you just talk American and expect them to just conform to pulling out Google Translate and you're not even trying to make it. It don't matter. You know, you know, like, dog. Like dog. So, so there's so, so many reasons, reasons for people to discriminate. Sorry. Sorry. That's, That's just the way the world works. So you need to find a country. Quit trying, trying to find these trending company, countries. I mean, Stop trying to find trending countries. That everybody on YouTube is just talking about. Do a little bit of research on countries based off of what you're actually looking for. How you can be comfortable. How you can get in and assimilate com uh, comfortably. Right? This is why I love Panama. Even though it's certain parts of it that's just like expensive for no reason. You know, they're just trying to like keep up with the America and all of that extra stuff. I feel comfortable. I feel safe. I don't feel pressured. I don't feel bull crap that you guys are going to feel when you're trying to go to these highlighted places. They watch YouTube too. They know why you're coming to their, their country, country, whether it's for their, for their women, women or whether it's for the cheaper prices. prices. They, they see it and then they, they optimize for your business. Mm. When they get here, it ain't going to be what they thought it was, right? That's what they say, dog. They're people too. And they prepare for your business, okay? So, so check this out. Uh, let's go to somebody. Somebody say, Sydney, Australia, live cannot be better. I don't know what that means. I guess life could not be better. I don't know. Uh, never say never. Great to hear that, Max. USA, USA just, just boring. boring. United States is a lot of things, but it's not boring if you know your way around. You understand what I'm saying? Like it's if you want, if you want entertainment, entertainment, United States, States is definitely, definitely the country to be in, right? But, but it's, it's, it's gonna, gonna be a lot of danger that comes with that entertainment. So just prepare, prepare for that. that. Um, Philippines. Safety is the main issue. That's the first time I heard that one about safety. Somebody said, can you tell me a little bit more? You're not, not relaxed there at all. 
and have to constantly check on your belongings, got an iPhone stolen from the pocket on the second day, and not from me, but my husband, big guy, and it wasn't even in Manila, but but my new rice terraces, rural area. And Manila is way much worse, really uncomfortable, feeling totally unsafe there, <laughs> even walking around. Hold on. I don't know if this is traveling is terrible, too, public transportation, so she did not enjoy her Filipino experience at all. Um, one thing I was saying is it's certain countries. That's what I'm saying. It depends on you. Dog, you just have to recognize that um, uh, racism and discrimination is a thing. I'm not trying to make it into that type of video, but it just is a thing. And you just have to be okay with it. You just, you just have to be okay, okay with it. It's certain countries that yeah, you're going to go to where they highlight the Caucasians more. But the problem is, being that they highlight the Caucasians more, they also think that you guys are more wealthy. So you're going to be a bigger target. So when you guys complain about places like uh, Manila or Brazil or places like that, those are places where a person of darker complexion can go and feel comfortable because they look at us and... Unless we draw a lot of attention, you know, you see a lot of black dudes over there wearing any jewelry on the outside trying to attract the, the, the dudes' wives and, and stuff. stuff. If you're those type of idiots, then yeah, you're going to have trouble. trouble. But just but a regular, regular dude like me, I'll look like one of the locals. They don't know I'm somebody different unless I draw attention to myself, so they don't look at me and like, yeah, that's a come up right there. And then they know what happens to us in the United States, so they feel like they, like they can relate to oppression and all that extra stuff. stuff. So, so, like, I can, I can camouflage in a lot of South American and Southeast Asian countries where they don't feel like they want to welcome me and help, help me versus <laughs> rob me. You understand know what I'm saying? But it can happen to anyone, anywhere. You just have to be aware, stay on point, always be, you know, keep your head on the swivel, but keep God first and do what he tells you and don't move like an idiot. Like an idiot. And you should, you should be, good be good everywhere. everywhere. You understand? Know you know but, but I just wanted to let y'all know, know, certain countries where it would be dangerous for you to be a, a black person, and there's certain countries where it will be dangerous for you to be a white person. There's certain countries where you'll get treated better if you're a white person. And there's certain countries where you'll get treated better if you're a, a darker person. That's just it. In Mexico, they love me. <laughs> In Pamela, they love me, right? You know, uh, but if I go to Europe or like China, China or, or something like that, then probably like, mm, look at this, mm, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? So you just have to be, you can't change the world. Only, only Christ can, and I'm going to die, okay? So just remember that. Don't be pissy about it. There's nothing you can do. Just enjoy yourself, all right? Somebody said, oh, God, oh God. didn't know it was, it was, it was that worse. worse. I was planning to go there, but thanks for enlightening me. We'll find someplace else. <laughs> all right, one thing I want to say about this is, another, like I said, another person's experience won't just be yours. So you can't cancel a place out either just because you are a certain complexion or because someone else had a certain experience. Maybe just by chance, the people that they ran into were having a bad day. I know, I know, I know what a coincidence, but it happens. Like, sometimes you'll watch the same scenario play out differently for other people. So, if this is a place you've been wanting to go to, hey, just go there for that reason. See, this is the thing. Y'all go there expecting people to roll red carpet out for you. For you. Sorry. Sorry. Go there. You, you went, went there because the landscape is, is beautiful and you want to uh, take, take pictures, pictures by the tower or the landmarks and stuff. Go there for those reasons. If you're going there just because you heard the people are nice or something like that, then you might be disappointed. Dog, pay for what you want people to act like. What do I mean by that? A. I don't, I don't give a damn what the attitude is about. If you want this tip, you're going to give me great service. <laughs> Quit expecting people to not be people. I don't expect them to love me. If they do, then oh, I'll praise to the most high. That's awesome. But I don't, I don't expect them to love me. But I'm going to get what I pay for wherever I go. So if you go to the place for the, the reasons other than just yes, yes, how you're going to be treated, treated then you, you can enjoy yourself everywhere, everywhere in any country. country. If I go to Europe, it's going to be to see the landmarks, learn some of the history, and, and, and all of that type of stuff. See some of the, like, the, the attractions there and things like that. If people happen to be nice, hold the door, and do all this extra, help us with the luggage, cool. If they, they don't, I got arms and legs. And if I need them to assist me, I got money to do that. Money is universal. They don't have to like it. Carry my bags, please. Here's your tip. We ain't gonna be friends. Do you hear me? All right, so check this out. Um, 
right. So, so we, yeah, yeah, we, we found, found somewhere else. Everybody got a lot to say about that one place, place in the, the Philippines. Philippines. So, so I, I had to fly through there. Okay, so India says, Kai, what's it, Kai Chan says, India, traveling semi-luxury, and it was still mostly negative. Damn. So he he paid for the experience he wanted, and it still wasn't good enough to bring him back. And we got checked with Slovakia, and he said, you can't change my mind. Uh, I'd like to know why. Please tell me why, brother. I'd love to hear your story. He said, broke up in 1992, and that is no such, such country. a country. It's my gave my history, history lesson. lesson. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, South, South Korea. Korea. There's there's another, another person, person talking about uh, Turkey. They say, certainly Istanbul. Ta- taxi driver robbed me after practically kidnapping me, and also a bomb went off close to me and killed and injured over 80 tourists, and I was only there for two days. You had an eventful two days. Wow, that's crazy for two days, all that happened. You can write a book. No, I'm serious. Write a book on that experience. You hear me? Like, damn, that's crazy. Another person said, South Korea is just terrible. Maldives, lovely place, but three nights was plenty. Then it gets boring. Yeah, I ain't gonna say, guys. This is why I love being able to deal with the people, too. And I didn't come here for the people, but if you just go there for the attractions and the luxury and all that, why do you think rich people do dumb stuff with their money? Because it gets boring just being in luxury all the damn time. Yeah, after a couple of days, you're like, oh, okay, what else can we do? Can we jump off a cliff or something? Look, that's why they do all the dumb, dumb adventures crap, because it gets boring. Okay, uh, I visited Nicaragua. For one day, grew to her and woke up with food poisoning. poisoning. I'll probably, I'll probably never, never go back. Man, that, that sucks. Food poisoning. I don't, think, I don't know if I ever had food poisoning. Man, like, sometimes you just get sick. I, I, I had no idea if it directly caught If I ever ate anything where it directly just was like, okay, right after that, I was like, oh, snap, I can't eat that again. This never happened to me. Even though I lived in Mexico and Panama, thank God. Keep you from that experience right there. Russia, for obvious reasons. Lagos, Lagos Nigeria, Nigeria one-time, one-time business trip. What was, what was bad, bad about it? Uh, I, I saw, saw some human trafficking there, and I left three, way, three weeks, weeks early. early. Oh, oh, snap. Damn. Damn. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, it, it, it must be terrifying, terrifying especially for the victims. victims. I know. At, At least you got to leave. <laughs> oh, man. You <laughs> seen it like, oh, she's a little bit, right? And he's like, oh, I'm out of here. Yeah. He, he said, said it traumatized me. I can't, I can't imagine how these girls, girls feel. feel. It's heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah for sure. sure. Sorry to hear that. Just came from there not long ago. I haven't encountered any of that, unfortunately. I mean, fortunately, what region was it? Outskirts of Vientiane. I don't know what they say. Okay, so I also never say never, but I have no plans to return. This is Paula. I have no plans to return to Barcelona. I have been uh, twice. Uh, most most recent recently this year, and it was just, just too busy. busy. Once you have seen the iconic sites and... <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's about vacations and vacations, y'all. It's a difference between a place that you want to vacation at uh, and a place that you want to nest at. Panama is a place I am trying to nest in, right? Building and all of that. Like, you don't hear too much. It's beautiful scenery and all of that stuff, but you don't hear too much about, like, landmarks and iconic movies that happen. Well, Jurassic Park was filmed in some places there. But, like, other than that, you. Other than the scenery and the beauty and all of that, this, you know, you have to consider stuff like good retirement plays. This is top of the list for retirements and pension and plans and doing all that extra stuff, right? That's, That's about it. <laughs> you know, and even though it's more boring, boring it's fine. You can always go on vacation to the places that are more active. Fine. But you can't, like, you can't, you shouldn't go to a place that you want to visit just for people. That, that should be the place where you're trying to nest it. You should go to visit a place just for the landmarks. Because after you go and check that out in a two, three day period, if you still got a whole week left, what the hell are you gonna do before your flight? Out. You know what I'm saying? So make sure your intentions are set, you know, and make sure your uh, destinations are based off your intentions. That's what I'm saying, okay? Tibet, one visit was enough, <laughs> I bet. Right? Uh, right? Bali, 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 uh, crazy, crazy traffic, traffic constant horns beeping, beeping band, band, people who didn't take part in the medical experience. What? A medical experiment? Okay. This, this is crazy. crazy. Okay, we, we got, got a lot of people talking about, about the U.S. That's New York. New York, I find it overrated. Ish. Ish. Oh, oh. Now, now, I'm going to tell you the truth, dog. dog. Like, like when, <laughs> no, I went, when, when I was, I was truck, truck driving over road, my trainer, he was from New York. And that was my first time going up there. He had to do his... Uh, what was it, a 34-hour reset there? 
it was like you like was talking about with, with Dolly. Dolly. It was crowded. You know, in the movies, like where you see the movies where they it'd be 30, 50 people on one sidewalk trying to cross the street at the same time when the light changes and stuff. That's not an exaggeration. That's actually real. Like, this pack, dude, and this pollution, it looks like a whole different country. New York is a whole different country. Now, if you go to state, it looks a little country and you can get away from all that bull and all of that. But that's any place you go to where they have the counties and the countrysides and all of that stuff. But the New York, New York, the city, New York, man, that definitely ain't the place. That ain't the place. Uh, so we got Singapore, Australia, India, Singapore, China. This is the first time we've seen uh, China. Okay, in the uh, Philippines again, uh, Laos, Bali, it's a whole bunch, bunch of Laos. <laughs> then we got this dude right here, Christopher David. He says, everything sucks in Panama. I mean, not Panama, in Canada, my bad, it rhymes. Uh, Egypt, Cairo, Egypt, noisy, dirty, and don't you dare see the pyramids. Scammers and pushy, really pushy sellers everywhere. I saw a dude, he went through, uh, through Egypt and... Yeah, for sure. He couldn't get down the street without them trying to sell him something. That's just how I go when you go to these marketplaces. If they know you from the States, even if you're from Europe, like world views, Europe and the United States is the same. If you're from one of those two places, people are going to try to sell you all day long. If you, if you make it known that you are from outside that country, that's just how it is, man. For real. <laughs> So what did y'all put in the comments? What, what did y'all put in the comments? What place would you never visit again? Even if your parents and friends and brothers and sisters live there. Because me, my place is the USA. I'm not trying to go back there for nobody or for no damn reason. It would take a miracle on 31st Street to get me to go back there. And like the person said in the comments, never say never. I'm telling y'all, I... It would take a miracle. I'm going to try not to say no, but it would definitely take a lot to get me to go back there. Let me know what's going on with y'all.